Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And did you hear what Joe Biden had to say last Thursday when he was at the NATO meeting over there in Brussels? And he was warning about the global food shortages. And they know they're coming, folks. I mean, they're warning us. Quote, unquote, the president said that, you know, this is going to be real. For not just the European countries, it's going to be real for us Americans. That means if you're on this soil in the United States, they know the food shortages are coming. So for once, if they're telling us that the food shortages are coming, then you need to be getting prepared. You should have already been getting prepared, but I have a quick way that you can do this now before they really start cutting off what you can buy. I want to talk about that in just one second. Now, these shortages and stuff, they're, they're all over the world, folks. And it's because basically of the Russia invasion of Ukraine. That's what started this whole thing. All right. It's a snowball effect. You know, now we can't get, you know, all the things that we want to get because we're no longer trading with Russia. Right. I mean, they've pretty much turned Russia off for the whole world, except for maybe China and Syria and you know, there is only a, just a few. But the point is, we have been given a warning. And we don't know how this is really going to play out. So this is what I'm going to ask all of you to do. It's a very simple process, folks. I mean, it's very easy to do. If you have to go to this grocery store, and you're going in there and say you need one of a can of green beans or spaghetti sauce or macaroni rice pasta whatever it may be if you need one buy two and if they're running a sale on stuff make sure you are capitalizing on top of those sales and this way here you buy at least two you take one home one goes into your emergency stockpile and one goes into your everyday pantry when you need another one don't take the one out of your emergency stockpile go back to the store and buy two more. Now you need to apply this to a lot of different things. And I'm going to give you a list, a good starter list coming up here in just one second. But the thing you have to remember folks is if you can do this and you can put away one of each item each week, if everything comes through the way they say that the shortages and inflation and everything is going to be towards the end of this year coming into next year. That's right. Coming into the end of this year and next year, it's only going to get it worse. We're going up the hill now, folks. We haven't hit the top yet. But if you have a stockpile at that point in time, if prices skyrocket, you can walk into your emergency storage and take that can of green beans out of there and use that instead of going to the store and paying $1.50, $2 for one can of green beans. I don't know what the price is gonna be, but I'm just giving you a illustration. If, if in doing this and you're putting away and you start to draw from that at that point in time, the amount of money that you are saving and hopefully have enough put away so you don't have to go to the store for a while for a lot of different goods that I'm gonna list off here in a second. But if you can put away these things now at the prices now, even though they have started going up, but you're not paying the high prices of the future, you're going to be saving so much money per week, per month. It's going to be mind boggling, folks. All right. You need to start doing this. All right. Now, get yourself a pen and paper or come back and watch this video again. I'm going to list off. I'm going to give you a starter list of some of the products that you need to start prepping for now. We're going to do food first, and then we're going to do supplies after. Okay? So first in food. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to start off with yeast. All-purpose white flour. You want white rice, beans of all kinds. All right? You also need sugar. You need salt. You need olive oil, you need vegetable oil, pastas of all kinds, oatmeal, 
canned goods of all different types and canned meats. This way here, you have a nice variety in your emergency pantry that you can survive on with those things that I just listed right there. Now, some of the day-to-day -day different supplies that you're gonna need in this type of situation, because we're not just talking food, is gonna be things as such as your bar soap, laundry soap, you're gonna need cleaning supplies, bleach, gloves. You're also gonna need like toothpaste, toothbrushes, hair brushes. You're gonna need first aid kits, extra first aid su supplies to replace in your first aid kit if you have to use it. Extra paper towels, extra toilet paper, extra paper goods. Could be anything from paper plates, paper cups, uh, napkins, all that different type of stuff. You're gonna need diapers if you have young children and wipes and baby cream and baby powder and baby lotions. You're gonna need dog food, cat food. You're gonna need treats. They may be on special meds. Um, you're gonna need cat litter, so on and so forth. If you have birds, you're gonna need bird seed. You know, a lot of this stuff is very hard to get, and I wanted to give you a basic list, okay? A basic list of some of the things that you're gonna need to get you through this huge situation that we are in right now. Now, you also need to make sure that you're staying prepared. This is so critical right now because time is running out, folks. You have to make sure that you are staying prepped and ready. I mean, because for God's sakes, folks, even the federal government now is saying that there's gonna be food shortages. They're spelling it out for you. Now, whether you wanna sit there and say, oh, they're lying or whatever else. I believe in this country, if we had no food coming in, we have a 90 day supply for the 326 million people that live here. Think about that, all right? There's enough food for 90 days and then what? saying so i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me on this video today you all need to stay safe keep prepping make sure if you're going to the store you're buying two and this way here you're always adding one to your emergency stockpile so until next time folks i will catch all of you on the flip side